So I've gotten a lot of requests for this, so I'm going to just do a real quick run through on how to do it. How to use the Steam Stream. Now I'm on my main system right now, I apologize for the webcam frame rate. And as you can see, I have all these games installed on Steam. So I'm going to be using uh, Duke Nukem Forever today, and this is on my main machine. And what I'm going to do now is actually go to my other machine out in the front room, connected to the TV, and actually stream this from this machine over to that machine. Now, just to show you guys real quick here, you do not have to use a computer for this. You can actually buy what's called a Steam Link, which is a small box that actually can connect to your TV instead. About a year ago, they did have the uh, Steam OS and the Steam boxes you could buy. It doesn't seem like they're investing too much time or effort into those anymore. It's pretty much just the Steam Link, and it's about it's fifty dollars right now. And then you can get the controller as well, or you can just use a computer with Windows. Okay, I'm, so I'm here in my front room with the TV, and once I signed into Steam, it did say that my main machine was streaming. Steam is detecting that I am logged in on another machine on my network. So you do need to be logged into the same account on both machines. And whatever game you want to play, if it's not installed on this one, it will actually stream it from the main machine to this one. And it actually lists all the games that are installed on my primary machine. Now there's real no setup that you need. All you need to do is have Steam installed on both machines, log into the same account. You may have to account authenticate through your email or phone or whichever you use. And three, it does need to be on the same network. Now there are some ways around that, but for today's purposes, this is what it's intended to be used for. So that's what I'm going to show you. And then you just start the game like you normally would. And up here it actually says stream. It doesn't say play, it says stream. Now the interesting thing about this is what you see on the screen here is actually going to show up on the screen over there as well. Now you can try to do this through wireless, but I highly recommend using a cable for both machines. That way you don't have as much lag on it. Now, why would you do this? Well, it's primarily so you can sit on the couch with a controller and play a game on your big screen TV rather than sitting in your chair on your monitor. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to set up the Steam Stream. Like I said, you can also pick up the Steam Link and the Steam Controller. However, you can also use an older machine and a standard 360 controller. I'm not sure if the Steam Boxes or the Steam OS are still available. Like I said, it doesn't seem like they're really putting too much time or effort into that. Um, however, this works great, and it's a great thing to try. Until next time, have a great one.